Friends, most of us will be getting the confusion of reflexive and aphatic pronouns because both of them are being similar. It can be easily confused as. So now let's study what is the difference between reflexive and emphatic pronouns. Friends, when we add self or souls to personal pronouns, just like yourself, myself, themselves, himself, herself, it we can call compound personal pronouns. Now let's try the reflexive and emphatic pronoun. The reflexive pronoun when the subject doing an action, it is written to the subject. That means if I do some action, it is return to me it is reflexing to me that we can say reflexive pronoun for example i hurt myself here when i hurt myself the pain is getting to me so it is reflexing to me so this is the easiest way to identify the reflexive pronoun friends now let's study emphatic pronouns emphatic pronouns which means projecting for the sake of emphasizing. For example, if I do some work, I want to project myself. For that, I can use emphatic pronoun. For example, I will do it myself. Here, I am projecting myself. Here, the personal pronoun, my. So, here, the compound personal pronoun, myself. So, that we can call emphatic pronoun. So friends, I hope you got a little bit idea of reflexive and emphatic pronouns. Reflexive pronouns which the action is returned to the subject and emphatic pronoun doing for the sake of emphasize. Thank you.